Are there too many restrictions when you lease a new vehicle? And does buying used really mean you'll save more money? Today, we're going to be taking a look at the five things to consider before you make a decision to buy a used vehicle or lease a new one. More on that starting now. Hey everyone, I'm Matt Blatt and welcome back to Car Buying Tips. If you're new here, this channel is all about providing the most useful car buying information to ensure you make the best car buying decisions. If this is something you're into, I would definitely encourage you to hit the notification bell and subscribe. That way you can stay up to date with all of our weekly content. Now the question of whether to buy a used vehicle or lease a new one is one that I get asked a lot. There's an argument to be made for both, but it truly comes down to your lifestyle and preferences that ultimately determine which is right for you. The first thing you should consider is monthly payments. When it comes to payments, they're only temporary when you buy a used vehicle. Once your loan is paid off, you'll have the title in hand and officially be the owner. When a used car is properly maintained, it can achieve years of efficient performance, ensuring car payments are a thing of the past. When you lease a new car, you're of course going to have a lower payment than if you were to buy new. But if you're going in and out of leases every so many years, you're always going to have a payment. Not to mention when you lease, you're essentially renting the vehicle from a leasing agency, meaning your insurance premiums will be higher. On the bright side, you do have a better selection when you lease. With a new car, you can mix and match colors, trim levels, convenience features, and much more, which isn't really an option with a used vehicle. Because used cars are unique, no two are alike, meaning you may like some features of a used car, but not others. For example, you may find a used vehicle that's well maintained, has low miles, at a great price, but it may not have that sunroof or heated seats that you wanted, and it doesn't come in a color you would normally choose. So with a used vehicle, you may be forced to sacrifice. Although buying used means you may not get the exact car you were looking for, you can certainly customize it, which brings us to our third consideration, flexibility. With a used vehicle, you can enhance the vehicle to better fit what you were looking for by maybe putting in a sunroof or installing a stereo system, replacing parts with modifications, or maybe even painting the car, which for the record, I just don't recommend. On the flip side, these are all things you definitely don't want to do when leasing a new car. Because you have to return the vehicle when your lease is up, it must be returned in the same condition it was originally purchased, or you could incur a damage penalty. You must also abide by a mileage limit, or risk mileage fees if you drive over your contracted mileage. Even though watching your vehicle with an eagle eye isn't fun, spending minimal money on maintenance and repairs is. New vehicles essentially have zero miles and the amount of money necessary to maintain a vehicle is typically less in the early life cycle of a vehicle. With a used car, the miles are more, meaning more expensive repairs or maintenance services could be right around the corner. Things like brakes, rotors, and tires. You may even have to purchase an extended service contract to protect your used vehicle, which is also an added cost. These things can be expensive and are a non-issue to people who lease a new car. Another thing new car buyers don't have to worry about is depreciation. With a lease, you turn the car in and get into another one. The dealer and manufacturer worry about the depreciation and current value of the vehicle. With a used car, depreciation and resale value are a very real concern. The amount of miles you drive, condition of the used vehicle, brand, model, year, these are all things that matter when you purchase used because they are major determinants of resale value if you ever choose to trade or sell your used vehicle. All in all, both options have their pros and cons, and the deciding factor has a lot to do with you. Some people keep their vehicles forever, drive a ton of miles, aren't too picky when it comes to vehicle selection, or don't want to worry about being penalized regarding the condition of their vehicle. If that's you, you should buy a used vehicle. Myself, on the other hand, I love having a new car every three years that has the features that I want. I take good care of my cars and I live close to work, so I don't mind about any lease restrictions. And I don't mind continuous payments if it means I have a lower payment and I don't have to stress about resale value. If you sound like me, then you should give leasing a try. I hope this video was helpful, and as always, thanks so much for watching. I can't wait to hear whether you would buy used or lease new and why, so let me know in the comment section below. Also, don't forget to download our free guide, The 8 Steps Before Buying a Car. You can find that link in the description area below. That's all for today. I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Until then, I'm Matt Blatt. Take care, and I'll talk to you soon.